Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see how to start with a bug bounty. So this is the first platform that is bug crowd. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can start your journey on bug crowd. So basically, this is a roadmap video for hunting bugs onto this platform. So as you can see, I have opened bugcrowd.com into my web browser. You can just type bugcrowd.com into your browser also. Just navigate to the researcher portal because researcher portal is where we are going to sign up and start hunting for bugs. So after clicking on the researcher portal, you can see this page. So just click on create account. After creating, after clicking on the create account, try to fill all the necessary details over here. So let's say username I type baby hacker. In the email address, let me take my email address hacker.udme at the rate gmail.com. And the password, let me take a password for this account. In the confirm password, let me confirm the password. And let me just hit on sign up. Perfect. So they have sent a confirmation mail. Let me check if I got a mail. Yes, I have got the mail right now. Let me just click on confirm my account. So after clicking over here, your account was successfully confirmed. Perfect. So I'm going to log in into my Buck Crowd account right now. So let me use my email address and my password to log in into this account. So after giving the right credentials, you just have to hit on login and you'll be logged in into your account. Just agree and accept whatever the terms are there. As, as you can see, this is the first thing that you will see, which is the dashboard. Here are the points when you will start hunting valid vulnerabilities, valid bugs, you will get some points and your current rank will get updated. Perfect. So this is the first thing that you will see when you will sign up and you'll come into your dashboard. Let's go to the programs function. And when I click on programs, here I can see a long list of programs that are there. So there are around 161 programs currently, which keeps on updating over here. As you can see on the first one, it is showing waitlisted. What does waitlisted means? I cannot hunt bugs into this account because there are three requirements that I need to first do. That is, I need to at least submit three reports. Those are valid. Then only I will be able to hunt bugs into this leading video game company. There's three easy payments. Okay. So these are the programs wherein you have to be eligible by hunting valid bugs onto bug crowd and they will basically see that your profile is strong enough to hunt into these types of websites okay so no problem if you're not able to hunt into these two website when you just make a new account let's see what are the open programs so as you can see transfer wire is an open program here also you can see takeaway is a op open program so let me just go to transfer wise From the submit report, you can just submit a vulnerability report to them. Let's click on transfer wise and let's see the details about this program. So as you can see, the name of the program is transfer wise. They reward from $100 minimum to $4,000 per vulnerability. Maximum reward they have given is $6,000. Safe Harbor means you just have don't have to disclose the bugs anywhere until they are fixed. These are the program details. 93 vulnerabilities have been found into this program and rewarded. They basically validate in four days. Average payout they have been giving is $255.55. Perfect. 47 unique bugs have been reported to them out of some are duplicate. So in total bugs are 192. Here, the, here are the total latest Hall of Famers. And these are the people who have recently joined the program and started hunting on TransferWise. As you can see, I'll go into the announcement tab. 
and you can see they keep on updating the rewards so bonus period has ended for transfer voice program and crowdstream so crowdstream stream is a feature in which the website owner of transfer wise decide if they want to make their reports public so any vulnerabilities that has been reported after reporting they fix it and after it has been fixed it is their decision that they want to make this report public for other people so they can basically read it hackerman is a very good platform in which we have the option of reading other reports bug crowd has just recently implemented crowdstream so let's just try to go there and you can see these reports submission accepted but we cannot report basically read any type of reports because they are not public this is the hall of fame perfect uh, let's go down and you can see these are the rules not important for us right now let's go here reward range is important as you can see any bug which comes under p1 severity that is critical gets the reward range between three thousand dollars to four thousand dollars similarly p2 which is severe bug goes to for 1000 to 1500 moderate and low so the vulnerabilities that have been we have studies studied in previous videos like auth bypass no rate limit xss csrf and if you try to get sensitive data out of those vulnerabilities of any of the user accounts this vulnerability may go, go to p1 p2 and p3 yes so this is important to see which is what is in your scope to test so transferwise.com that that is the website is in scope for your testing total 41 unique bugs have been already reported as you can see these are the bugs which have reported and you can see csrf is already reported two unique reports have been reported and nine duplicate reports okay and uh, the ios app android app and other things are into the scope what is in out of scope is important for you because i do not want you guys to waste your time on hunting on websites which are kept out of scope for example you can see tw.com or tw.we or any subdomains of these two websites are out of scope so if you try to find any vulnerabilities onto these domains they will not be acknowledged or rewarded because those are out of scope let's go here as you can see focus areas they want you to bypass role unauthorized accounts do authentication bypass okay let's scroll down and let's see what is these are out of scope vulnerabilities which means low hanging fruits basically which should which should not be reported these are out of scope bugs and yeah program rules so basically this is it the most important thing to look over here is the reward range what is in scope and how many vulnerabilities have been reported to that program perfect so let's assume now that you have found a valid vulnerability onto this website so how to submit a report onto this program we have read all the rules and everything but how to submit a report so you can see there is an option of submit report you just have to click on that after clicking on submit report the first thing that it is asking is summary title so you have to provide a summary title which is basically let's say you have found xss on this website so you have to type xss on www.transferwise dot com you have to choose the target after choosing the target technical severity you have to choose a bug so we can choose let's say xss as, as we have found xss in xss let's say we have found reflected xss so reflected xss non-self obviously not a self xss so i'll go down what is the url or the endpoint that you have found so let's say transfer wise dot com slash i have found the xss on let's say this endpoint slash here is the injection point 
equals to XSS. So let's say the parameter here is the injection point is vulnerable and I'm able to put the XSS payload over there. So you have to give it like this. So it becomes easy for the program owners to validate the issue and triage quickly. The most important thing here is the description. In the description, there should be total four things which are important for any report that you make. First is description. Description signifies what vulnerability you have found out. The next is steps to reproduce. So in this, you have to type what are the steps to reproduce in that you can type step one, go to this URL, step two, put this XSS payload here into the injection point. Step three, when you will hit enter, you will be able to, able to see that XSS executes, which confirms there is a valid vulnerability. So the next thing is proof of concept. So you have to attach a screenshot or a video. I generally believe attaching a video is more helpful in some cases. And it is a very good practice that instead of attaching screenshots, you can attach a quick POC video. And the last one is mitigations that how to fix this. So guys, we have already seen the mitigations for each type of vulnerability into our videos. You can just try to give reference from those videos over here that what are the fixes. And these are two are ad any additional inputs. You don't have to give anything over there. It is optional. Finally, add attachments. You can add your video or screenshot over here. I recommend attaching videos for each and every vulnerability that you found. Now, the last step is just hit on this report. So here in I'm going to submit a blank report right now. Obviously, this is an invalid report. But, uh, but just to show you guys, I have submitted a report. After that, you have to go into your submissions tab and you can see the vulnerability that has been reported over there. So the vulnerability is XSS on transferwise.com and the category is P3. The vulnerability is new for now. As soon as this is accepted, it will become, as you can see, it is in pending tab. As soon as it is accepted, it will come over here, accepted one. If it is rejected, it will go here. Obviously, this is going to get rejected. It is going to go here. If it is a duplicate of any other vulnerability, it will go over here. Collaboration means if two people have found out this vulnerability, then it will go into the collaborations and the bounty will be splitted between both both the two researchers. The last thing is the invitations wherein you get private invites to your account. If you hunt valid vulnerabilities onto this program, you get private invites. So what are private invites? We are going to discuss it. Let's first click on the submission that we have made. As you can see, this is the reference number. Reference number helps you guys a lot. Whenever you have you are stuck onto any report or the support or the program owner is not replying or they are not able to understand the scenario that you have reported or basically if there is any misunderstanding, you can just take this reference number and you can report to the support of Buck Crowd. They are pretty awesome and they reply in a very quick time frame and they will help you resolve your query. Cool. So as you can see, the target location is this priority p3 the report okay so i have made a blank report obviously on 22 april so you can see everything from your submissions tab so for now what i'm going to do is i'll go to payments tab and you can see my upcoming payments are nothing i can set up your paypal this is the leaderboard and the leaderboard you can see top security researchers let's go to crowdstream crowdstream is a new feature which has been impl implemented by buck crowd where you you can try to report read the reports let's go to the invites tab wherein you will get some private invites what i was talking about so basically private invites are invites for some special programs which are not public so a limited security researchers will be hunting on that program, which means the scope is more for you to hunt as there are less people hunting on that program. Perfect. 
you can fill up your details over here for if you have done any certification credentials your personal details if you want to update in the account tab you can just update your password your swag details what kind of t-shirt size do you have let's say i put a l size you can put your address whatever you want to do this is deactivate account in the payment details any of the payments you have if you have you can connect your paypal over here there are two options for payment on buck crowd first is the paypal and second one is the pioneer i prefer paypal okay so perfect here you can see whenever you try to log in it will create a session you can see over there last option is identity verification you can verify your identity because some programs uh, needs compulsory identity verification so you can do that if you want to hurt for hunt for some programs last is the support you can just try to contact the support if you are facing any issues onto the platform so you can just drop an email at a researcher at the rate buckcrowd.com wherein you will be supported very quickly okay so i hope you understood a lot of things over here the last option is the dark mode which makes your eyes little cool so you can hunt vulnerabilities at the night time also this white light will not reflect for you guys so yeah I'll just again go to the program features. You can see there are a lot of programs which you can hunt for and you can start hunting on all the open programs. So let me just try to search for TripAdvisor as we already found an XSS into our videos. And yes, this is a program on Buckcrowd. I already reported this vulnerability on TripAdvisor and have been awarded with a bounty for this vulnerability. So no need to submit that vulnerability as it may go in duplicate okay so this is how basically you do bug bounty hunting on buckcrowd.com so this video was the roadmap for doing bug bounty hunting on buckcrowd wherein, wherein i tried to explain each and every functionality of buckcrowd how to navigate and how to submit valid reports so i hope you this video helps you guys in hunting onto this platform thank you